Hello students. Okay, what we're going to do now is apply those three geometry facts about parallel lines to try to use those to find some unknown angles. Okay, so have a look at this diagram in the upper left. Okay, so we've got two parallel lines. We've got them cut by a transversal. We know that that angle is 35 degrees and we've got to find unknown angle C. So the secret is figure out which of the three geometry facts is going to apply. So often I like to just draw the angle. Like I know angle 35. I'm trying to find angle C. And that's the C rule, co-interior angles. And we know that co-interior angles add to 180 degrees. So therefore I can say C equals 180, take 35, and 180 take 35, or 180 take 30 is 150, take 5 is 145 degrees, and that is the C rule. Angles, co-interior angles add to 180. Okay, looking over at the, this diagram here, we've got four unknown angles. Now the secret is we can only use the angles formed by the parallel sides. So we've got to be careful not to try to form rules or do questions assuming these sides are parallel. So I'm going to start by saying, here's the C rule again. There's angle H, okay? And there's 110, so there's the C rule. So therefore I can say H plus 110 adds to 180. So I can say H equals 70 degrees. And once again, I'm using the C rule, that co-interior angles add to 180. I can do the same thing for F. So there's a 60 degree angle. There's F. Once again, there's a C rule. So we can say F equals, well, 60 plus F equals 180. So F equals 180 minus 60. F has to be 120 degrees using the C rule. Now F and G we know are equal, so therefore G is also 120 degrees, and that's using the fact that opposite angles are equal. And finally K and 110 make a straight angle, so K is going to be 180 minus 110, K is 70. So I'll do that, then I'll show you another way you could have done K as well. So angles on a straight line add to 180. Now the other rule you could have used is the Z rule, alternate angles, because there is the Z. And because these lines are parallel, alternate angles are equal. So once we knew that H was 70, we knew that K was 70. So the alternative could have been, you could have also used the Z rule. And often with these more complicated questions, there is more than one way to find one of the, one of the unknown angles. Okay, on the next page, you have a go, please, at these three. Stop the video and then start it again once you've finished. Okay, first one, hopefully, you found to be fairly straightforward. That's the Z rule, two parallel lines cut by a transversal, alternate angles are equal, so therefore W is 65 degrees, and the reason is the Z rule. Looking at this one over here, once again we have to make sure we use the parallel um, lines, not the ones that are not parallel when we're doing our calculations. So there's the C rule. So Z plus 100 equals 180. So Z is 80 degrees. And the reason is co-interior angles add to 180. Okay, I might change the color of my pen. I'll put make it, um, make it green in this case. So here we have, oops, that's not really very neat. Try that again. Here we have 
110 degrees, and here we have an angle marked x. Well, that's the F rule, and therefore we know that x equals 110 degrees. And that's because corresponding angles are equal if the lines are parallel, also known as the F rule. And then once you know that x is equal to 110, we could set a say, well, x plus y add to 180 because they make a straight angle. And therefore, y is 70 degrees. And that's because angles on a straight line add to 180. So there's some uh, questions involving parallel lines.